Right now, here's two more people here. Marcus, you were a, a friend. Friend yeah? of Kevin, yeah, good friend of Kevin's. Right, and Sue, remarkably, you're Kevin's actual girlfriend. I'm um, Kevin's girlfriend, yes. Yeah, sure. Now tell us, what's it been like? Let's start with you, Sue. What's it been like all this time, 17 years? A guy who categorically claims he's innocent, been in prison, locked up, trying to fight this case and get the publicity it needs. Well, it's very hard at times because I think more to the point, Kevin gets so frustrated as does everybody else. Sure. And it's just a fight, an ongoing battle. It's like, you know, every time a door opens, one closes. And it's like 10 steps forward and 20 back sure. all the time. And just when you think you're getting a bit closer, we keep getting knocked back. And this is very hard, if you can imagine, for us. But for Kevin himself, it, you know, we can turn to other, you know, go and dwell. Kevin has to go back to his room and dwell and stress about, the, you know, what, where's the next door going to open? And what, how long, when's the next time, you know, the next lead? Sure. But I think it, this is the time now that I think he's going to, things are going to change. Sure. Well, allegedly there's, at the time, obviously the police officer who was in charge of it, Spackman. has since yeah. been, you know, sort of in, into prison himself for yes. indiscretions, yeah. let's, say. let's say. So a lot of the evidence that he, he actually produced, a lot yeah. of the evidence that actually put Kevin into prison. Yeah, effect. well, this is all right? came to light now, isn't it? The undisclosed evidence. Sure. And this is the new um, evidence that's actually going to get him to the um, courts, of, you know, the appeal courts. Sure. This new evidence. And, um, you know, all oh, God will and God prevail, this will be the turn, turning point. Sure. And the people who should be behind bars will get behind bars if, if justice is really done. Yeah, so this new evidence obviously needs to be yeah, brought to light been, and into no, the courts. It has been yeah. brought to light right. and the CPS are now investigating the new evidence. Right. And they're just uh, trying to get proof of, you know, the, the originality of the documentation. Right. And at the end of the day, when they do, and this is why they've extended their time again, because I think there's panic going on. I think there's a lot of people panicking at the moment sure. because there's going to be heads flying, yeah. <laughs> tables turning. And one of the other things I suppose that must be particularly frustrating is the sheer volume of time it actually takes to put yeah. this in court yeah, and of sort the appeal out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, if you think our day-to-day -day life, I kept spending every day of his life, you know, not getting any younger, 44, and, and it seems like a lifetime. My and chest size, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> well, everybody is fighting his corner, you know, and nobody, you know, everybody is behind Kevin. Sure. And I think if everybody did see this evidence that has come out now, you know, there's for no reasonable doubt that he, he was, he didn't have a fair trial. So without putting you on the spot, you obviously feel a lot more confident now than you have done oh, for I any have. time yes, in the last... Oh, If you think last year, Kevin was in the dispersals, he was still in Franklin. He got re um, knocked back from being recategorized because um, for, there was a, um, a dossier on all stupidness, all kinds of things. Right. He doesn't walk where he should, he runs where he should walk, just stupidness for a man and yeah. being Kevin. And then within, I think, a month, maybe six weeks, he was. It, they reversed that. Somebody came back and told him, oh, you know, we're going to reconsider you for recategorisation. Now, this is all around about the same time as all this evidence has came out, because I think he's almost like a hot cake. They don't, nobody wants him in there. So he's out of the dispersals. He's sure. actually in a Category B jail, which then, going for his parole, which is up next January, it, it's a fantastic, um, you know, he's moved because he was stagnant within sure. these dispersals. He was not coming out, yeah. and so now he has. So some of the walls might be actually beginning uh, uh, to come yeah, down. Yeah, of be course. Fragmented. But I think behind the scenes, everybody knows there's something actually going on that's not that's right. Great. And what's your, what's your, you know, stance on all this then, Mark? Kevin's a good friend of mine, always has been for years, and I know categorically that he hasn't committed this crime. And, and as the establishment knows who has committed the crime, yeah. but they don't like to let it go what's happening. Sure. The police officer, the, well, how can you take the word of a, a police officer with his, with, with his, with his previous convictions? Yeah. You know? So yeah. I know category he has an irritant. And I know for a fact, he's like, you know, he might be, he's a bit of a tear, he has to fight, he's asked to fight, and will do. But um, he hasn't committed this crime, and, it's, and they know he hasn't. So you let him out. Well, the thing that, you know, you, you, well, I've read about some of this, you look at the internet and stuff, the thing that's yeah. come out is Kevin basically, oh, he's a Jack the Lad, he was born in the East End, I was born in the South London, yeah. so he probably ate me, but basically, we, um, the thing, we've both been brought up in an environment where, you know, and Kevin was a prime example, if he had a problem, his fist was the answer. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You know, <laughs> and so this is completely against the grain of anything else he would have ever done, isn't it? Yeah, I know, I know he hasn't done it, I know, and so, so has the, uh, the authorities know he hasn't done it. 
Yeah. It's a proof. It's a proof, yeah. and that's the hard part. Yeah. So I suppose now this is all based around like the march today, the publicity, yeah, the course, public yeah. awareness, everything of yeah. it. And, and you've had a lot of you know help from like celebrities. Yeah. And even MPs, I believe. Yeah. So I, I suppose now you just hope that you get this appeal from March forward at a faster pace. Yeah, but the frightening thing, out. I think, what Kevin is actually worried about is are they extending more time to try and hide the evidence what they've already got? Are they trying to get rid of, you know, the, you know, the, the, the proof, existing evidence? The existing yeah. evidence, the undisclosed evidence. Sure. Are they trying to get rid of it now before Kevin can actually brought, be brought to the. Um, Sure. So who would, have that, who would actually have that evidence at the moment? Well, you know, I don't have it. It's within the police. It's within the police, isn't it? Yeah. And it's almost in files where, you know, they're put away and don't don't get touched. And they have came out. And at the end of the day, it's unbelievable how the city's had two CCRCs going on. They got nowhere. This third one he's got now, he's got to the appeal court with it. Yeah. But why have they missed finding this evidence? You know, this well, is, this it, it is seems incredible, thing. isn't it? Yeah. And, and the other worrying thing is today there's two or three other examples of people yeah. who are allegedly behind bars who shouldn't be there yeah, as well. Of course, yeah, of course, yeah. So it's obviously a bigger problem than any of us ever uh -huh. you know, understand or believe. Yeah. Well, I suppose all we can say is, you know, keep up the good work. We wish you all the best and uh, hopefully we'll be out there having a drink with you soon, oh, yeah? Bloody hell. <laughs> then, the, then the trouble starts. Well, yeah. yeah. Anyway, good luck. Thanks Thank very you. much. Yeah.